Hello there, everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to modify your items in Borderlands 3. Now for this, you're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to need Cheat Engine. I have a link in the description on Steven Chapman's video on how to download Cheat Engine. Now if you want to get into game hacking, make sure to watch some of, watch some of his tutorials. They're very, very good. Right, next thing you're going to need is the Borderlands 3 DLL made by Sunbeam. So if we're going to go ahead and go to our browser, or just go ahead and click the link in the description, it'll take you to Fearless Revolution. Once you get there, we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we find the console dump. Okay, so once we have this, a couple things you're going to need to note whenever you download this. One, if it automatically deletes whenever you try to open it or when you download it, that means your antivirus is blocking it and you need to whitelist the program. Now, it does recognize it as a virus for a couple of reasons, and if you need me to go into detail um, in, the con uh, in the description, please let me know. Next thing you're going to need to note is, um, whenever you get this, go ahead and delete the Extreme Injector, because we're not going to be needing that. All we're really going to be needing is the Borderlands 3 Duo. Alright, and make sure it also enter the password, some being FRF, just like that. Now, next thing you're going to need is the Tooltip Pointer. Now I'm going to go ahead and load up that up real quick. I have a link in the description on a Borderlands 3 modding discord where you can get this updated tooltip pointer. So I'm going to open it real quick. Okay, so once we have this open, we're going to need one more tool. And this tool is the Borderlands 3 memory editor made by Digital Marine. Now make sure to keep this memory editor in its file whenever you download it so that you can copy and paste item codes into the editor. Okay, so once we have the memory editor, and the cheat engine tooltip, and the DLL, we are good to go. Now, the first thing you need, to, you need to do is attach the process to Borderlands 3, just to make sure that it's running. So, what you can do is you can either come up to the little window right here, say Borderlands 3, or you can just hit Control-P, which is Control Process, and then we can go ahead and double-click on Borderlands 3. Do you want to keep the current address list? Code list? Yes, of course. Now, once we do that, we need to inject the DOL. Now, what this DOL does is it allows the editor to talk to the game, saying, hey, I want you to edit this. So, that's basically what it, all it does. So, we're going to go ahead and say Control M to go into memory view, and then Control I to go inject. Now, what we can go and do is we're going to go and go to the file wherever you put it um, with the DOL. It right here, it will look like this. So we're gonna go and say, Do you want to execute the function of the duo? Yes, deal injected, and we're good to go. Make sure you do not, uh, you do not paste the item code into here before you inject the duo, or we'll give you an error message. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and activate the tooltip pointer. Now, if the tooltip pointer does not load, if it spins in a circle and just stops and doesn't load, reload cheat engine. Make sure your t uh, process is attached, or completely reload Cheat Engine and the game, and also the memory editor, and then reload everything. Okay, so what we're going to go and do is we're going to get the item code for this uh, whatever gun that, or slash item that we want to mod. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is the only way to get the code is we're going to go to hover over it on in the inventory, like this, and we're going to go all the way down all the way through or wherever it is and there's going to be lots of numbers do not worry about all of this all you're really really going to be needing is the base address raw right here so if we just go ahead and do this we're going to say control c just to copy it or you could of course just go over here right click and just say copy now we're going to go ahead and head over to the memory editor and put in here we're going to say control v or you can just go ahead and say paste. We're going to go ahead and say go, go. Making sure that everything is good. Okay. So, looks like this is what it's going to look like right here. Now, one thing to note is if you take off the mag on a weapon, it'll give it infinite ammo. So, yeah. Now, we could just be done here. You could just say, well, I don't need anything else. I can just go and edit it. Then write to memory, which I'll show you how to do uh, later on. Well, there's one really important thing that you could use to make your gun a lot better. 
And I'm going to go ahead and pull it up right here. It is the item parts Google. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. I'll leave a link in the description to the website on it. And right here, I'm loading it up. Whoops. Like that. Now, let's go click the link in the description. It's going to bring you up to something that looks like this. Now, whenever it looks like this, these are all the item parts for every gun. So yeah, every gun, every manufacturer. So this is very, very beneficial if you're just starting out and say, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. So this will help you put on the right types of items or right types of barrels and whatever you feel like putting on there. So now it's completely set and we have everything that we would need. Now, what if we want to, now before we go and do this, we want to go and look what this weapon is. So it's doll SMG. You can tell it's an SMG by the, the gun that it looks like and the, like kind of the menu, like, the menu right there. Okay, so we're going to go in back here, and we're going to go and say, doll, then SMG. Go and click on that. And if it does not load like this, and it's a little bit of a bug in the website, you can just come up here, and we can go and say, I'm going to go and make this a bit bigger. And we're going to do this right here. Now, it's going to bring up a lots of things, and I'll go ahead and s explain what a lot of this is in just two seconds. So what does all of this um what all of this is? It it is the components or like the barrels or whatever you're wanting to add on here. So basically what this does is these are the effects your barrel is going to have whenever you put it on. So we're gonna go in and find one that looks pretty good. If we go and scroll down through here, fire rate plus ten, fire rate plus ten, blue melee damage. We're gonna scroll down here. And we can find that this one looks awesome. Has lots of damage, go crit damage, mag size, has lots of things. So if we want to go and say, hey, I just want to go ahead and use this. Because this looks like a pretty viable thing. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and copy this. Now, if it does not let you copy it, just go ahead and put in whatever it is. So, if I say rock and roll, then you can just go and do that. But I'm going to go and paste it in here. Um, usually, sometimes, it'll also do this. It'll give a bunch of spaces. Of course, all you need to do is just do this. I'm just going to say it like that. Oh, one more space right there. Perfect. Now, say we just wanted to add, it, um, to add a bunch of these to our weapon. Now, do keep in mind that the max components on a weapon is 63. So you cannot go over 63. So if we just wanted to go ahead and add a shit ton of rock and rolls to our, our weapon, we can just go ahead and say add component from below. Get up to the max 63, and whenever you get to 63, it'll say you can, you can't have any more, or you can't have more than 30, 63 components. So yes, that is the max. All right. With that being said, let me also take off the mag, so we're gonna have infinite ammo. I'm just gonna put one more rock and roll on there, and now we are good to go. So say this is all you want to do. You say, okay, I want to go ahead and get my modded weapon. Okay. So there's a rule you're going to need to keep in mind. If there are one or more changes, then you need to write to memory and then exit the desktop. But if there are zero or negative changes, then you just need to write to memory and then uh, exit the main menu. That being said, as the rule applies, there's only 48 changes. So that's one or more, so we're going to have to quit the desktop. So we're going to say quit the game and do not click quit the desktop or main menu just yet. What we're going to need to do is we're going to say write to memory. Gives you all of this. This is a warning. Say it can't crash the game. Say okay. Yes. I want it to write the memory. Now, what that just did was the duo that we just injected was talking to the game, saying, Hey, I want you to edit this, like I said. And it went in, the memory editor said, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. Once it edited it, um, it says, Okay, it's done writing the memory. Um, we can say okay. And if the rule applies, we're gonna need to quit the desktop. Now if it crashes, do not be alarmed. Um, you can just go ahead and reload. So yeah, it's going to give you, it may give you some messages saying crash detected. And we're going to just go and get rid of that. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and load up back up into the game. I will talk to you guys in just two seconds. See you then. Okay, so once we're back in the game, we're just going to need to go into play, continue, and then we're going to go and load into the game. 
Now, if everything went right, then our uh, our item will be a bit different. So we're gonna go and wait for it to load just for two seconds. Okay. So once it's in, you're gonna notice a couple of things. Well, what happened to our mag? Well, it's not infinite. And if we look at the damage, well, it's a one-shot kill. So, i say that's a pretty badass weapon. Now, saying that's okay, and you say, okay, well, if that's the only weapon I want to make, that's good. Well, say if you wanted to edit anointments on your guns. We can go ahead and do that. So, first off, we're going to need to do the steps. We're going to go ahead and attach the process. Four lens three, say okay. And we're going to say control M, control I just to get into the injector, so a memory view, and then we're going to go into injecting, so we're going to go inject the DOL. Okay, so once we go and do that, we're going to go ahead and say, activate the tooltip. Okay, so, say we just don't want this anointment, what we can go and do, is go and copy the, the code, paste it, okay. Here's other, another thing that can happen. If it does ever say error hooking, all you have to do is just reload the memory editor. It's no biggie. So we can just go ahead and reload the memory editor. Okay, so once we lo reload it, we can go ahead and paste in the code. And make sure to inject the duo, like I said, just so you don't get an error warning right here. It may take a second because there's 63 components. Um, so there's a couple things that can happen, or a couple cases. Um, so if you do not have an anointment on your gun, here's how you can get one. So say we did not have an anointment on this gun. So like, oh no, I really wanted an anointment. Well, what if we really wanted to, we can do this. We can go ahead and say, we're going to go ahead and find, if we really wanted an anointment, we, can, we're, we want to find a weapon that already has an anointment. So let's say this one right here. Say, okay, yeah, I want the anointment of this weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and hover over that. Get the, get the code. And we're gonna go ahead and paste it into here. Actually, sorry, no, we're not gonna paste it in here because we've already done that. We already had the weapon. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go edit anointment right here. Again, not the right place. <laughs> it's in here. So what we wanna do in order to duplicate the anointment, you must have the item that contains the anointment first. Grab the tooltip address and anointed item and paste it below. So that's what we did. We have the item. And once you say OK, you can just go ahead and say write to memory. It'll automatically write to memory for you once you say OK. And then exit the desktop. So yeah, if you did not have an anointment, that could be the case. Well, what if we just wanted to edit our anointment? Well, we can do that. So of course, there's some stuff right here. So we did to edit it. So instead of Mayhem level 3, what if I wanted it to be like this? I'm going to go ahead and pull out a uh, Mayhem code right here. So let's say we wanted to copy a piece of code in here. Well, um, well, you'd have to get the code from someone. And then we can go ahead and paste it in here. And just like that. But th that will be for another uh, tutorial. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be covering that um, in this one. So once we do that, once we make all the changes, we revert back to the rule. Um, negative changes, so all we have to do is just go to um, the main menu, say OK. Done writing the memory, just say main menu. And we're going to wait for it to load back in. It'll take a couple of seconds here. But yeah, the process is long, but it's rewarding. Okay, so once the game's loaded in, we can go ahead and look. Go and see now, there's no anointments, but there are. There's that Mayhem 11 anointment. So we basically just took off that other anointment. So yeah. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how I did in the comments as far as the video-wise. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Goodbye.